Hey guys, thanks for joining the vlog. I'm always excited to bring you these videos. This video is gonna be on movement throughout travel. If you're doing travel, it's very hard on your body. You're doing long periods of sitting, long periods of working through airports or bus stations or train stations. Check the clip. Yep, not easy at all. Travel can be really hard on your body. This is a little routine that you can do just about anywhere. You can do it sitting down, you can do it standing up. There's just a couple of gentle movements that help kind of open up your hip region, keep your spine elongated and mobile through all these traveling things. You can do it anywhere. You can do it on a hotel room chair. You can do it on a balcony chair. You can do it in a hotel lobby chair. You can do it on a bench. You can do it on a curb. You can do it at an airport. So let's do some exercises together to really help that traveling experience become a better one for you. Thanks again for joining these vlogs. Happy to have you here. Let's move. So after long periods of sitting, you've really got to get those hips a little more mobile, get those hips moving, get them stretched out, get that general movement back in the hip region. One of my favorite things to do is just to sit on the edge of your chair. Again, you can do anywhere on a bus stop, in an airport, just about anywhere. You can sit down on a bench, have a little place to get a little stretch in. So take one foot over your thigh, try to just press down on that knee a little bit and it just gives you a nice little external rotated stretch here. And we'll hold this for a couple of moments, maybe three to five breaths. And use those breaths to create a calming moment. Again, when people are traveling, people aren't used to travel. And that travel can really create anxiety. And that anxiety creates an energy and that energy just buzzes through everywhere we go. So try not to get involved in all that energy and just try to breathe and calm through the moment. So I'm pushing down this a little bit. Once I feel a little stretch, I feel a little release there. I'm gonna take my hands by my side. I'm just gonna kind of roll down into a little stretch. And just kind of let your body weight do the stretch for you. You don't have to force it or push into it. Just let your body weight kind of roll down and get a gentle stretch here. Again, hold this for three to five breaths. Breathing deep through the movement, breathing deep through the stretch. And you can hold that for a little bit longer if you like. If you're watching this video while you travel, just push pause and do your stretches to your liking and then come back into it. So that's a nice little way to get the external rotators of the hip stretched out. We're gonna put the opposite foot up. I'm just gonna put a little pressure on my knee and kind of open that hip joint up and breathe through it. Inhale. Exhale. Three to five breaths, feeling good. Let your body weight just kind of cascade down and go into the stretch. Again, not forcing it, just letting your body kind of roll down and through it. Hold that down stretch for three to five breaths. And again, if you'd like to hold that stretch for a little bit longer, just hit pause and rejoin me after you've finished your stretch. Really nice little number four gluteal stretch you can do. Very important to get those hip flexors stretched out. So whether you've got a bench or a chair or something behind you, just reach one knee back, get a little hop forward, put your hands on your knees for a little support, and push into a hip flexor stretch. Once you start to feel that stretch, Bias to posterior. Try to tuck your tail slightly and pull into that hip flexor. Give this one a good stretch, five to 10 breaths if you like. Hold that stretch for a little bit, let that hip flexor open up. Uh, if you're just on a flat position and you don't have a, a seat behind you to prop your foot up on, you can reach back and grab that foot if you like, or you can just let the foot drop down. You're still gonna get a nice stretch on the hip flexor. Sitting on planes or buses or trains for long periods of time can really tighten up that anterior region. This is a great way to get stretched out. So again, if you'd like to hold that stretch for a little longer, just hit pause on your device and rejoin me in a moment. We'll do the other side. Try to match your foot line. This one's a little tighter on me for some reason today. And once you kind of fall into that stretch, bias to posterior, just kind of pushing your pubic bone forward, trying to almost tuck your tail. You're not gonna get into a posterior tilt, but you're biasing towards it. 
by stretching a little deeper into that stretch. Hold that for five to 10 breaths. Okay, and again, if you'd like to stretch a little bit longer, go ahead and hit pause and stretch into that a little bit longer. Nice hamstring stretch. We're just gonna let our spines roll down. Try to keep the weight equal under the toes, under the heels. And once you're into a gentle stretch, if you need to soften your knees, you can. But once you find that stretch, let your back just kind of hang over your legs. And then do a little walk. So one knee bends, the other straightens. One knee bends, the other straightens. And you just kind of walk through those hamstrings. So we've got an opportunity to stretch the gluteals, the external rotators of the hip, the hip flexor. Now we're working on those hip extensors and low back muscles. Again, depending on your flexibility, only come down to as far as you feel comfortable and soften your knees if you need to, okay? So there's a little stretch series. Once you've found that stretch series, let's do a little cat cow in a seated position. Exhale to flexion. Inhale to extension, and you can use your knees for a little bit of support and just kind of gaze up towards the ceiling or the sky if you're outside. Exhale into flexion. Inhale into extension. Exhale into flexion. Inhale into extension. And you can do five to 10 repetitions. Again, however many you feel comfortable. If you want to do some more, just hit pause and rejoin the video. Let's do a little rotational motion. You can come back into your seat or your chair or your bench, wherever you're sitting. Interlace your hands behind your head and do a little twist. Double pulse, center to the other side. Center. Again, keep those breaths nice and deep, nice and long. Use those breaths to create a rhythm for the movement. It really helps calm your body and mind really helps alleviate any stress from that travel that may have built up in your body. Exhale, exhale, center, exhale, exhale, center. And if you have an opportunity with a chair with uh, handles on it, you can grab one side and just kind of pull yourself in a little rotation. Hold that stretch for three to five breaths. As long as you feel comfortable, pull the rotation to the opposition. and back to center. And let's do a little bit of movement with our body. So we interlace behind, we go into flexion, and we're going in a clockwise motion. We inhale, extend, around with the waist, exhale to flexion. Try to really work that lateral motion, that lateral position. Our spine gets such limited movement in that lateral position. And work both sides, work that right side, around, Work that left side and down. Then reverse direction, inhale, around, exhale, down and through. Try to create flexion, extension, lateral movement. Oh, it feels so good on your back from long periods of travel. And around and down. And this time we're just gonna kind of dive forward stretch over our legs, let our back and head just kind of hang. And we peel back up and you can leave in that, stay in that position for a little while if you like. And let's get that neck a little mobile. So we come across, we grab a hold, we pull laterally. This arm is reaching out, getting a nice stretch through that right lateral line. Hold that for three to five breaths and then rotate your chin down towards your armpit and stretch that side as well. Reaching out, kind of biasing like you're trying to touch the ground with this down arm. And then come back up. We do the other side, come across, reaching this arm out, go lateral first. And then bias the chin down towards your armpit, rotating through to the back of the neck stretch. And we do a couple of head rolls around. I like to do three, four, five in clockwise motion. And then I'll do three, four, five in 
counterclockwise motion. And that's just a nice way to get some movement through your body. Again, I like to finish with another hip flexor stretch. Again, those hip flexors, they spend so much time in that contracted position. I like to just finish off with that same stretch that we started with. Hand on the knee, push into it. Once I start to feel the stretch, I bias to posterior and really pull on. It's already feeling a little bit better. Hold it again for five to 10 breaths. Those hip flexors and quads get tight, get them stretched out through your travel. It'll make all the difference in the world to your body when you reach your final destination and make you feel a lot better. And then we do the other side. We're gonna reach this back. Hand on the knee for support, come into the stretch, and then bias to posterior. Hold that stretch. And again, hold it for as long as you feel comfortable. We finish with the roll down, nod your chin, roll through, soften your knees if you have to, or keep your legs straight. Come down to the bottom, shake that head up for a no. Nod that head for a nice positive yes. Let those arms just kind of hang and dangle. If you're really flexible, you go down further. Just lift up a little bit into the core and let those arms and everything just kind of dangle down long. Pull your belly button in, push your sacrum under, peel your spine up, give yourself a nice stretch. Just doing these simple movements will make all the difference in the world in your travel. Trust me, try them. I hope you like them. Thanks for joining the video. Guys, thanks again for joining me on these videos. I love doing these videos for you, and I hope you enjoy them. If you like what you see, hit subscribe above and become a part of the Pilates Life channel. Again, thanks for being here. Be kind and have a great day.